Solve practice 9.5, questions number 1. Find the value of x in the following triangles. So in diagram questions A, we have two sides with one included angle. So we can find the x using the cosine rule. In cosine rule, the small letter A here is the length of one side in the triangle, whereas this capital A is the angle which is opposite to the sides A. So in diagram A, the X is opposite the angle 45. Therefore, this X is the A in the formula, whereas this 45 degree is the capital A in the formula of cosine rule. And the 3 cm and 5 cm will be the B and C. Now, to find the X, it will be x square equal to 5 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 5 times 3 cos 45 degree. So the length of x will be the square root of the answer here. So as you move the square to the right hand side, it will be the square root. So the length of x will equal to 3.5. 576 cm. Questions B. X is opposite to this angle here. So first, we need to find the angle JKL, which is equal to 180 degree minus 55 degree 13 minutes, which is equal to 124 degree 47 minutes. So here, x square is equal to 9 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 9 times 12 cause the angle 124 degree 47 minutes. So the length of x will be the square root of the answer here. So x is equal to 18.66 centimeter. Question C. The x is opposite to this angle 32. So to find the x, it will be x square equal to 75 square plus 100 square minus 2 times 75 times 100 cos 32 degree. So the length of x will be the square root of the answer here which is equal to 53.89. Questions number two, find the value of theta in the following triangles. So in diagram A, the length of three sides are given. Therefore, you can find any angle inside the triangle using the cosine rule. So here the angle theta that we want to find is opposite the length EG, which is the 15.7. Using cosine rule, this will be 15.7 square equal to 20 square plus 14 square minus 2 times 20 times 14 cos theta. Next, we're going to move this minus 2 times 20 times 14 cos theta to the left hand side. And the 15.7 square to the right hand side. So now it will become positive 2 times 20 times 14 cos theta. This is equal to 20 square plus 14 square minus 15.7 square. Next, we're going to move this part to the right hand side. So cos theta will equal to 20 square plus 14 square minus 15.7 square divided by 2 times 20 times 14. So the theta will be the inverse cos of the answer here, which is equal to 51.38 degree. Questions B. The angle theta is 
opposite to the length JK. Using cosine's rule, this will be 7 square equal to 10.8 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 10.8 times 12 cos theta. So using the same method in questions A, cos theta will equal to 10.8 square plus 12 square minus 7 square and divide by 2 times 10.8 times 12. So theta will be the inverse cos of the answer that we have here, which is equal to 35.26 degree. Question C. The theta here is an exterior angle in the triangle. So as we have three sides of the triangle PQR, so first we're going to find the angle PQR. Then let's on to find the theta, we're going to use 180 minus the angle PQR. So the angle PQR is opposite the length of PR. So using cosine rule, this will be 10 square equal to 9 square plus 6 square minus 2 times 9 times 6 cos angle PQR. So cos angle PQR will equal to 9 square plus 6 square minus 10 square divided by 2 times 9 times 6. So the angle PQR will be the inverse cos of this answer, which is equal to 80.94. So now we can find the theta. It will be equal to 180 minus 80.94, which is equal to 99.06 degree. Questions number three. The diagram on the right shows a quadrilateral PQRS, finds the angle PQR. So based on the diagram, the angle PQR is here. So this angle PQR is opposite the length of PR. So to use cosine rule to solve for the angle PQR, we must have the length of PR. Now in the triangle PRS, the length PR is opposite angle 42.3 and the length of RS and PS are given. So refer to the triangle PRS, we are going to find the length of PR using the cosine rule. So here PR square is equal to 9 square plus 12.5 square minus 2 times 9 times 12.5 cos 42.3 so the length of PR will be the square root of the answer here which is equal to 8.416 so now we can find the angle PQR by referring to the triangle PQR so 8.416 square, this is equal to 5 square plus 8.7 square minus 2 times 5 times 8.7 cos angle PQR. So cos angle PQR will equal to 5 square plus 8.7 square minus 8.416 square divided by 2 times 5 times 8.7. So the angle PQR will be the inverse cos of the answer here, which is equal to 69.93 degrees.